I'm Janice and this is Juliana from Marlboro, Massachusetts and you're watching the Omar Gosh. Now give me a kiss. <laughs> What's up fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. Just cut the grass today. And by the way, it does look a little cloudy, misty. Right now we're in the peak of the so-called eclipse. I don't know. They say it's supposed to fry your camera. I, I don't see nothing. And I tried to go to the store and get some of those glasses to see the eclipse. Here in Florida, we get about maybe 60% of the view of the eclipse. Yeah, other than it being a little misty looking, it almost looks like, I don't know, it's two o'clock and it's supposed to be looking like it's six o'clock. That makes any sense at all. But yeah, it's too bright to see it with, I mean, even with sunglasses, I had sunglasses on a little bit ago, but yeah, earlier today, really sad day because if you watched my last video, I got some brand new baby chicks. And anytime you get baby chicks, there's, I don't know, there's like a 50-50 survival rate, especially if you're getting them from like your local farm store. And that's what I did. It's happened to me in the past before. You can't blame yourself for it. I've found so far three dead. And I don't know, I'm gonna have to look back at some of the camera footage because I am recording them. I don't know if maybe the turkeys that I got that I have mixed up with them possibly attack them. I don't, they are a little aggressive because they're probably like a week older. You know, turkeys are bigger birds. So they're probably a little bit meaner as babies, but I don't know. I don't think so. I think they're just, they're sensitive, especially to a brand new environment. And they're only like a couple days old. Please don't mess up my camera. Oh, uh, my eyes even bright for my eyes. I don't see nothing. This eclipse was clickbait. By the way, don't just do what I just did because it can't fry your, they said like your sensor on your camera or your phone. But yes, got this right here because I have to put another light. So this is where I had the turkeys and the chickens together. And like I said, we found a couple dead this morning well one of them was on his last breath and we comforted it and took his last breath pretty much in our hands but what we did is went out and got one of these and we separated them so just in case we got the chickies or the chickens and the turkeys separated but they do need light because they don't have feathers yet turkeys are a little bit more advanced and yes that's like an oddball turkey right there oh no i found another dead one Okay, I'm kidding, I put it to sleep. <laughs> See, it's it's still alive. So if you put little chickies like this on their on their backs and rub their belly. <laughs> See, I stopped rubbing his belly. They literally will just fall to sleep. Did I wake you guys up? Oh look, a turkey. They're sleeping. Sometimes when they're sleeping, they look dead too. Like, hey, you're standing on your friend's head. Okay, little guy. All right, got the light right up there. Had it down here, but felt like it was uh, gonna create some chicken nuggets. So I raised it up a little bit. These dudes are sleeping in their food. What the heck? Could you imagine just sleeping on a bunch of cereal? Actually, I think that might be kind of comfy and yummy. Just like wake up and start eating. Just like that guy did. <laughs> This is so funny. So I'm out here looking at my cows. I released them into this new paddock that I made. And I don't allow the dogs in here because there's no lines because they will jump this fence very easily. But anytime I go through like a cow pasture or something, I always see these white birds. And I'm like, how come I never see those white birds on my property? Well, the reason I don't ever see these white birds on my property is because my dogs chase them away yeah any intruders anything at all that's not their animals they will chase away including crows hawks like anything that's not a part of their flock so being that i don't have the dogs in here these white birds are literally following my cows there was a time where i was like why do these white birds follow cows like what is the reasoning behind it and if you ever seen these white birds i mean i don't know if they're up north at all but the reason why they follow the cows is because they clean them. It's kind of like a, I don't know, scratch my back, I scratch yours kind of deal. They will sit and follow the cows and eat flies off of them. And I think it's great because cows get a lot of flies. And these birds are eating at the same time. I mean, they love these flies. Oh my, this is so funny. There goes Boston.
a little out of breath here. So this is my garden area. I had to separate this from the animals just in case they were loose. I do have a gate that I could open and close, but I got some grapes. See, there's the poles. Just have to run like some metal lines. See, I also put a pole here and then I'm gonna put this. It's not the, the prettiest thing ever, but I'm gonna put a PVC pipe. Actually, I have to maybe dig this one down a little bit more. And then I'm gonna hang some strawberries, strawberry plants that I bought. I also got some strawberry plant seeds that I'm gonna plant. But dude, this is awesome. Haven't really showed my garden off a whole lot. I'm out of breath, sorry, I was digging a big hole. So these are my peach trees that I planted in the fall, I think. And look, we already got some peaches growing on them. This whole row right here is peaches. Look, we got a ton of peaches right there. This is awesome. Do have some citrus. And if you ever get a chance, if you see these little flowers growing like on orange trees, they smell so good. Oh my gosh. I can't even describe, oh, a ton of ants on them. But yeah, they're called, I mean, of course, orange blossoms, but they smell so good. They almost smell like jasmines. I got some star fruit, of course, all the peaches. Got some avocados over there. And check this out. I don't even know a plant this little can produce fruit. Got some freaking lemons growing right there. Okay, gotta get these weeds out of here though. And I believe this is called the uh, porch lemon. You can have these like on your porch. People put them in pots and stuff and then just come out and you know, I'm gonna grab a lemon. Bam, but I planted them in the ground. I think I made a couple of those. Uh, there goes the other one. And there's my avocados. This one did have a couple oranges on them, but they weren't, you know, here they, here they are right here. And this is a Valencia orange. So yeah, I got a couple different kind of orange trees. Oh, I'm excited. I've never had fruit trees that I planted before, like on my own property. So this is, this is a treat. It's fun. Might as well use some of this land. So when I lived in Western New York, that's kind of like their big thing is growing grapes. Yeah, I've always wanted to do that. Now, one of the biggest things that people don't know that we grow here in Florida, strawberries and blueberries. Got plenty of fertilizer, thanks to the cows. So once this grows a little bit more, see where the pole is, I'm gonna have these lines and these are vines. So they kind of wrap around and I'm gonna have like maybe three or four lines. So this is uh, Reliance, it's a seedless grape. These are kind of different grapes. I think these are Concords. Oh, cool. Look, this has already got little strawberries growing on them. Dude, oh, look, I've had this plant for maybe, I don't know, a couple days now. It didn't have these strawberries on them. Um, also got a tomato plant. Strawberries have an abundance of seeds. I know this looks a little dirty, let them dry a little bit, but yeah, seeds. Who likes baby goats? Here goes the baby goats. They're having a good time. <laughs> what is Mary Poppins doing? Oh, goats are like the one of the only animals that will literally eat where they poop. <laughs> Dixie's chilling too. She's a little sick today, but she's doing a lot better. She was worse maybe like a day or two ago. They're up top in the Gotel, the Gotel balcony. Got the hanging strawberry plants. It's kind of nice because they could grow some nice vines. Animals can't get to them. I do have the actual strawberries down in those pots below. Gonna wait for them to become little seedlings and then I'll put them in some hanging pots. Got my tomato plant, raspberry, blueberry, and then they're gonna use this to climb up like on the vine. Like I said, I have plenty of fertilizer. I did use some of the cow and llama fertilizer. Thing with that though is you don't wanna, you don't wanna use like fresh you know what I mean. Put it aside and let it dry. That's what that pile is over there. Hell. You are such a whiner, Mary Poppins. She is about to have some babies. We're gonna have more little baby goats. Look how they jump over the fences. Look at this. So funny. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, Great Pyrenees, you cannot. Uh, you have to have this, and this is uh this is safe it's just like a pulse all right fam so this is my dad's birthday present i'm gonna show you why he'll enjoy this more than anything else whoa you made that cool. how long did that take you to make i don't even know that is so hours. creative thank you he's gonna love that <laughs> welcome hey! hey happy birthday i brought you a plant dad Oh yeah. To add to your collection. All right, you have to see the cake that I baked you. That's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
I spent all day yesterday yeah. and all day today baking this cake. Come look. Come on. I'm serious. I Mira, baked, I baked the cake. Dice que me hizo un cake. I know. Yeah, oh go, my go god. Look. Yeah, see, cool. Look at it. It's cool. Look, baby. Oh, okay, I didn't bake it. Ariana did. Uh, but she but made that from scratch. <laughs> no, she did it. Really? Yeah. Look, look at that. Isn't it cool? Beautiful. Love it. Okay, a lot of you don't know that I have a 15 year old <laughs> little brother. Wait, 15 or 16? 16. 16. 16. 16. He's a big boy now. Y'all know who this pretty lady is. Oh. Miss you so much. Miss you. Growing already. Whoa. I did her highlights. So blonde. <laughs> Yummy. Puerto Rican food. Arroz con gandules. I haven't seen this guy in a long time, too. It's my little Maximo. Look, look at his hair. And this is Jazz. It's my dad's pug. Hi, Jazz. You can fly with me. Oh, he's so excited. Look at him. This is why my dad loves plants so much. I mean, this is not the reason why, but I mean, as you can see, he loves plants. Can't go wrong. I mean, I give him a bottle of cologne, something like that, but I mean, he just, he likes plants. And he made that himself. Oh, he's so pretty. So yeah, my dad had to do a pond here because his pond dried up. Well, he has a lake back there, but it did dry up. There's even alligators in there, believe it or not. It's been a while since so I gave you a bite. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hector. Daddy. Happy birthday to you. Now it's here. Yeah! 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 And I'm thinking of planting some more peaches. So I just found this out too. You can get these strawberry plants. Ah, it's cold. Ah. Oh, I'm getting wet. Sorry. If you do end up getting some strawberry plants like this, like the hanging plants, you can take these parts right here and it's it's pretty awesome. You could plant these just like that. You just break this off. That has like little roots on it right there and it'll grow some vines. Woo, that's bright. I really miss you i i don't even think you understand how much i miss being able to pick up pick you up <laughs> and take you to do things go to my dad's house for his birthday oh thank you so much by the way for going to my dad's birthday and celebrating that beautiful day i mean just i'm so blessed to have my dad in my life losing my mom last year was was rough but it, it really made me think like wow like one day you're not gonna have your dad there too i'll take that pretty serious today we were having all these like funny moments and I got this like funny video and I, I looked to my favorites list and I was sending it to like friends and family members and I was, I see my mom's name. My mom is still in my favorites list and I was almost gonna send her this video and I just, I forgot that she's not there anymore. I mean, she might not be there to call, but she's there. I am trying to do some more vlogs Thank you so much for watching them. It means means a lot to me. If you didn't watch my last vlog, make your way to that video because uh, a lot of people missed out on the notification. It's cute. It's got more of the baby goats too playing. I didn't get to show them a whole lot in this video. So if you like baby goats, go watch that video. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.